is Soul 855. And this gig of pan is by Keith Laney. Lovely gig of pan, this one. Lots of detail, loads of weird fossils and strange things lying around on the ground. A lot of them are just rocks that look strange. But I'm absolutely convinced that some of these are actually fossils and bones and that kind of thing. As we see all over Gale Crater, this was a lake bed at one point in the past. A very salty, it would have ended up a very salty lake bed and lots of things died in and around it and were preserved in the, in the rich uh, bicarbonate and sulfuric uh, minerals that were in the, not only in the sand but in the water that was left as it dried out. Uh, this process I did explain in some detail in this video that I did a while back called uh, Mars 2020 Bear Found, Calcified Animals. Now this video goes into some detail, quite some detail, about how I think these processes were working in Gale Crater. Basically the lake was very, very salty, full of bicarbonate minerals, and as it dried out the creatures that lived on it and around it would have been preserved in these minerals and calcified, which is a kind of fossilization or turning to stone. It's not the standard fossilization that most people think of it on Earth, where things are encased in, in um, sediment or, or clay and then squashed under great pressure and then preserved that way. Uh, it's a slightly different process, but it does explain it in this video in great detail. So I do recommend that you watch this video. I'll put a link to it at the end. Uh, March 2020 bear found calcified animals, okay? It's important because it helps, un helps you understand what's going on and why these things look the way they do and why we see so many amazing details in some of these um, so-called fossils or calcified remains, I should say. It explains why there's so much detail to be seen. The gigapan I've got here is really cool. You're going to love this one. Um, it's, it's really detailed and clear and bright and you can see lots and lots of stuff in here. And I'm going to show you the main things I've got. And if I find anything else, I'll put that in at the end of the video as well. Now, this to me looks kind of mechanical, but what I think it is, is some kind of skeleton of some kind of creature similar to, or a bit like, a turtle or tortoise. Um, but it may not be. It may be something very different. Maybe some of you out there can understand what this is. It's very complex, and we've got lots and lots of parts interlocking parts, much like bones would be. The details in this are really quite unbelievable. Um, it, it's just insane. You've got interlocking parts with amazing details like this here. This kind of curves round. It's got this part to it here coming round. You've got this kind of inner part and this part comes over which joins onto this part. They're, they're all interlocking. This part is very angular here. You've got a very angular part with an internal hole in it as well. And you've got these kind of almost T-shaped locking sections here, which are kind of interlocking with each other. Now, only spinal bones or rib bones would do that, unless this is a mechanical object that is calcified and uh, preserved in the, in the minerals in this lake bed. But you've got some weird details like this part sticking out here and another part coming under it and round it like that. Unbelievable. The details in here are quite unbelievable. I really don't know what it is. I'm just trying to work out, as usual, speaking of my mind here and just trying to work through in my mind what we're looking at and trying to explain what it might be. I don't know what it is. But for one thing is for sure, the, I mean, even in the raw image here, I mean, the so-called raw image that has been enhanced, I think, from the original images. Um, it's have contrast added and um, it's been sharpened. It's got a bit of a funny texture to it. But if you look on the, you can see it on the Gigapan. You don't have to enhance this at all to see it. It's very clear. Um, let's go back to the Gigapan. Here we are. What you've got to do is zoom in and all the details are there to see. You can see all these interlocking parts. Very complex. And um, it... It's absolutely mind-boggling. I can't r work out what it is. It did remind me a little of one of these, uh, a turtle skeleton. Um, these are very complex and have got all these kind of rib parts and, and reinforced parts where the shell would have been over the top of this. 
thing. Now this is a giant one found in um, South America. Look at the size of it, absolutely incredible. Uh, I think this was found in the 1920s or something, or about 100 years ago or something, but unbelievable. I don't think it is a turtle, but it's something similar. I think it's some kind of creature, but I could be wrong. Um, if we go back to that again, the point is, if this was mechanical, I wouldn't expect to see these curved parts like this. I would expect it to be more angular, like this part on the end here, on the right, we've got this angular part. I would expect to see more angular parts. But there are some very strange details in here, and uh, it's mind-boggling. I don't know what it is, but it's very interesting. And some of these things underneath look weird as well. We've got almost teeth-like structures in here, here like this, but with weird things sticking out like that. And this one on the end is crazy because not only does it come over like this at the top and join here, but it's also got this part here, almost like a bracket or, or like a, a, a strap around it or something. It's very odd. Um, some of these details are very strange indeed. So answers on the postcard with that one. I don't really know what it is, but I'm just trying to suggest what it could be. It's way too complex to be a, just a rock uh, or some random clay minerals that have eroded in a very strange way and broken up. It's too complex. And the way the parts interlock, I would say, dictates that this is probably a, a set of bones from some kind of creature, possibly a, a, an aquatic creature, who knows? Now this is also mind-boggling. I have no idea what this is supposed to represent, but what we have is a very strange rock with a almost perfectly circular part to it here, with an inner part here. It curves up to there, it's got a straight part on top, and we have this part sticking out here at the end, almost as if this is broken off here on the left. It's, it looks like it's broken off of something. Um, can I tell you what that thing is? No. Now, when you go in close, let's get it in the center, you've got this almost perfect circle here, and we have an inner part here, like that, and a darker bit there, so it's almost like there's a hole there. And it's just very odd. You've got the almost perfectly straight part to it here, this bit coming around, and then we have this part on the end, which looks like it's kind of broken off, broken off of something here, or this may have been stood on this part here and could have been around the other way. Don't know. It's just very, very odd indeed. And uh, it's got some interesting details here. And this curve is very nice. It, it doesn't look like a normal rock. This looks like some kind of object that may have been part of a building or some architecture or something that has broken away and it's just lying there. And it could have been there for a million years. Who knows? So there was that, that was really interesting. Now, I think someone else may have found this before, because I seem to remember seeing this about a year ago, or two even, on one of the Mars sites on Facebook, possibly on Martian Genesis or uh, Mars X-Files, or perhaps even on my own uh, group, um, Mars Magazine, I don't know. But it does look familiar, so I'm not claiming that I found this necessarily. So if, if you've seen this before and posted it on a, a group or anything before, please let me know and I'll put your name in the description as a credit, okay? So now I've called this guy Mr. Soft. It's very, very strange indeed. And when you look up close, there's the raw clip on the right and the slightly enhanced one on the left. I've done very little to this apart from adding a bit of contrast and brightness. It's a bit brighter and a bit darker. And you can see some very, very strange things here. It basically looks like a head coming around here, and the forehead here, and a nose here, and a mouth here, and an eye here. Okay, and a really very odd shaped chin coming around here, and what looks like a shoulder, and an arm coming down here, and some other details which don't make a lot of sense. Uh, it kind of comes around like that, but it's kind of obscured, obscured slightly by this rock in front here. And then we've got this weird part 
coming down here, like that. So what the hell is that? It looks like it could be a statue, but damaged and fallen over and then eroded, possibly. But look at the texture of it. If you look at the texture of the rocks around it, they're all quite crinkly and rough and, and heavily textured. But this thing is almost perfectly smooth, which is why I call him Mr. Soft, because it just looks like soft material, like, like sponge or, or, or something. Now, I'm not saying it is that. I'm just saying it's very, very smooth compared to the other things around it, which are all heavily textured and cracked and, and pitted. This thing looks like it's had a great deal of water erosion, uh, not wind erosion. If this was wind erosion, we would have lateral lines coming across it like this. Right? If it was water erosion from rain, we would have vertical lines coming down, erosion lines coming down like this. But this is all eroded in what seems to be a very smooth manner, as if it was underwater and had water swirling round it, perhaps. And it's kind of hollowed it out slightly here. So it may just be an optical trick, but why would it have an eye like that with internal detail and a nose, a strange pointed nose? and a mouth with a bottom lip. You can see a lip shadow there. There's the lip. All right. And we've got an upper lip there and the mouth coming around like that. We've got internal eye detail and an eye. And a very strange pointed nose. So that was really weird. And I promise you, you'll find all these things in the gig plan. If you look yourself, these things are littered all over the place. Um, some of them are unrecognisable blobs of weirdness, which I can't ex even explain. But uh, this is this one here is probably the strangest I've seen in a very long time. Really, really odd. So that was interesting. If you look through carefully, there's hundreds and hundreds of little things. Most of them are just rocks, but some of them do really look like fossils, and they're quite small. This thing here, I would say, is only about six inches across. This thing is not big, so none of this is really big. Um, some of these rocks are quite large, but most of this stuff is quite small and quite close. So it may look large to you initially, but it's not. It's just closer up. And the rover is literally looking down on the ground. And there's a ridge line at the back, which has got an interesting entrance to it up here. And this is where this thing is that people thought was a face, but it's not. This is not a, it's not a statue. That's just a rock that's shaped a bit like a head. It's not at all. When you see it in greater detail, it doesn't look anything like a statue. It's just head shaped. Uh, it may it, it may be, I could be wrong. Um, it does seem to have an eye here, but uh, I don't think it is. Uh, or maybe it's just so eroded that it's, it's hard to say. But then we have this entrance going right into the butte here, just here. Let's go full screen. And you've got loads of gold on the ground as well. You've got all these deposits coming down here and there's lumps of gold on the ground, right? But there we have it. There's an entrance right here and you can look right up into it. There are no footprints or anything, so nothing's been in or out of this thing for a long time, it seems. But um, there we are. This may go right inside the butte, like a cave. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.